During your previous class discussion, you have learned about the history and the different types of late machine. Today at Automec, we will be discussing about the five major parts of the late machine and how it is being operated during our shop work. For today's lesson, we will be using a bench late machine, a type of late machine that is held or installed on top of a working bench. But before we proceed on how to operate the late machine, it is important for you to know first the five major parts of a late machine. This will help you understand more on how this kind of equipment would work. Basically, if you know the parts, you know how it will run. The first part is the headstock. It is located permanently on the left side of the machine. It contains the headstock spindle which is rotated by gears or combination of gears and pulleys. This part is also responsible for adjusting the speed or RPM of the lead machine, simply by changing the gear combinations as shown. Depending on the material and size, a particular recommended RPM must be followed. Second is the feed and thread mechanism. It consists of quick change gearbox, lead screw, feed rod, gears, and clutches on the apron. Aside from containing the main switch, the feed and thread mechanism is also responsible for the directional rotation of the headstock spindle, meaning the headstock spindle may both rotate on a clockwise rotation and counterclockwise rotation. If the setting is in F or forward position, the headstock spindle will rotate counterclockwise. But if the setting is in R or reverse position, the headstock spindle will rotate clockwise. When not in use, settings should be set to zero so that the late machine will not run even if the main switch will be accidentally turned on. Third major part of the late machine is the carriage, which holds and supports the cutting tool. The carriage also contains the saddle, apron, apron hand wheel, cross slide, compound rest, and tool post. Another major part is the bed, which is the base or foundation of the machine. It is heavy, rigid casting made in one piece. Since it serves as the backbone of the machine, it holds and supports all the parts. On the top of the bed are the waist, which are accurate rails which supports the tailstock and carriage. They must always be accurate so that the headstock, tailstock, and carriage are in alignment. Last major part is the tailstock, which is located at the right side of the machine. Its main function is to support the other end of a long workpiece during turning operation. The tailstock can be moved along the bedways and clamped in position. It is also where the drill shock and live or dead center is attached. Now that we know the five major parts of the late machine, we can now proceed to the basic operation of the late machine. Just like in operating other kinds of equipment, PPEs or personal protective equipment must be observed during the operation of the late machine. All wrist accessories such as wristwatch and bracelets must be removed. The late machine operator should also observe on wearing shop work aprons which will protect the body from small debris that will shed off during operation. Wearing of cotton gloves is also advisable as it will serve as an additional protection to your bare hands. Also, never forget to wear a safety goggles for your eye safety. First step during late machine operation is to attach the material or object to the headstock spindle. The headstock spindle may be loosened or tightened using the square chalk key. For this operation, we will be using a brass rod as a sample. 
Next step is to attach the lathe tool bit to the tool holder. It is essential that before fixing or tightening the tool bit in the holder, that the tool bit itself is centered. However, to know that the tool bit is well centered, you will need to use the tail stock. The tip of the tail stock and the tool bit must be aligned when look on the sides and on the top. Remember to put down the guard cover for additional eye safety. To operate, simply turn on the main switch and you're good to go. Always take note that late machine operation needs extreme patience and the operator need not to work on a hurry, as he or she might be able to break the tool bit and may result to accidents. And once you're done, always remember the 6S methodology and never forget to shine or clean your workstation and put back or return the tools that you used. 